Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through one of the one a day problems. This one involved having a barn, in this case I think this is a horse barn. And we want to build a fence uh, next to this barn. Since we already know that we have a barn whose length is 100 feet, uh, we don't actually need to build a barn, uh, or rather build a fence that goes all the way around. We only need to use three sides of it. Uh, we only have 90 feet of fence. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, the barn's 100 feet wide, so that'll certainly make up one side of it. And so, let's see, I can build one side of the fence, build another side of the fence, and then build the third side of the fence. Okay, fine. Uh, it would probably be good if I gave names to the sides here, but I don't know how long they are. I know they, uh, they're they all under 90 feet, but that's about it. So, I might call that side H for the height, and of course there's two of those. There's the other side, which is the same length. And then there's also the base of this rectangle, which I guess I can call B. So a few things uh, that you might notice, uh, for instance, you know that we have only 90 feet of fence, and of course two sides of the rectangle uh, are the height. So I'm going to need two times H. And then one side of the rectangle is the base. And if I add all those together, two times the height plus that base, I must uh, get in the end that twice the height plus the base is equal to 90. All right, well, this already tells me uh, some really nice things. For instance, the base, well, it certainly can't be any less than zero. Right? In fact, you really wouldn't want a zero base anyway. It wouldn't be much of a rectangle. Uh, on the other hand, the base can't be any bigger than 90. So then there would be nothing left for the, the H. On the other hand, uh, you don't want to let the H be 0 or less, um, but it also can't be any more than 45. If it's more than 45, then you get twice 45 is 90, and there's no room left for the base. So the height better be less than 45, but greater than 0. So this tells me the domain of those two variables. B is between 0 and 90, not including the endpoints, and H is between 0 and 45. Uh, we also know that, of course, there's the area of this rectangle. And the area is, of course, just the base times the height. But using this formula, saying that twice the height plus the base is 90, we know that the base is 90 minus twice the height. And so we're actually able to get an equation for the area. Namely, the area, being base times height, is 90 minus twice the height times the height. Or expanding it, we get a quadratic, negative 2h squared plus 90h. And given uh, this, we, we actually can graph the area function if we want to. And we know it'll be a, a parabola. It'll be facing down. And uh, that'll allow us to find maxes and mins. And I'll let you guys uh, try to do that.